Hey guys, what's going on today? You know, I always doing something on my channel. Today I'm gonna be changing four tires for this parcel. This is my daddy and parcel. This is mama parcel. I got four tires I'm gonna change. Four brand new tires. I knock this out, put them on. Get the other like, three in here. Um, these are. What size these is? Oh yeah, there we go. And this is the size right here. It's from 16s. From like 16s. So here we go. I'm gonna carry these right now. Here we go for brand new size 16 tires. Low profile. Switch them up right now. All right, the car is kind of light, so I just gonna do the two of these one time. Take that one off, take this one off, and uh, get it done. I already got the tire off, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get a tire. Now we just take this off because it sounds annoying. I just hold it there for now. So what I do is I put a little bit of used point oil rather than dumping and wasting it. I just put a little bit of oil so it slips right on. Slips right on there. Nice and easy. Uh, some tires, the majority of tires, some tires have um, they have an indication that you must put. Um, there's a rotation on the tire, and it's specified to put part in and part out. So sometimes it have you see the arrow pointing. These ones doesn't have the arrow. This one has inside and outside. So this part will be going on the inside of the tire. So I'll put this here. And most of the time, it's pretty easy. I could just press them on. So I just take my tool. Take this like this. I'm gonna kind of go around. And this tool just puts it off of it. Kind of easy. That's the first part. Now, the same thing applies for the second part. I just come like this. Put it on, and what you want to do, there's a groove on the rim that you put it under, and it just goes under that part there, it goes under, it goes under like that, you take the slack, and you would just apply a little bit of pressure, finish, put it on. Well, it's kind of slack, I'm going to tighten the nut a bit so the tire doesn't spin. Once the tire doesn't spin, I come here, raise my hands up, it goes down. Little yank, little yank, and that's it, boom, tire's finished. It's already fixed. So, we do the next one. I'll probably speed this video up a bit. Break it from around the seal. This is what I'm gonna do. Take this here, and I just press this down so that it breaks from around the seal. I'm gonna do it on this side so you see. I just come right here, and I press it down like that. Pretty good to go. Now, I'm gonna flip it over. Flip the tire over. Like that. 
Now I'm gonna make sure I tighten it pretty good this time. So that the tire doesn't spin. Alright, and I'm gonna do the same process what I did on the other side. I'm gonna come right here, press it down, take the time. Alright, once that pass down, come over here. I'm gonna help people Let's see. Changing low profile tires is a lot of work. It depends sometimes. But um once you have the proper tools and um, I'm kind of seasoned other than this, I do this all the time. So I'm gonna press this right here and come up. Make sure that the tire goes down underneath the groove. Um, it's not a how-to video, I'm just doing it. Show you what I do here in Nando's. Once that comes up like that, I'm gonna take this out. Take that out. Now I'm gonna spin. It just come up by itself. Comes right over the lip. And I'll change the other. Go down in here and ride it up like that. Same process. Just spin it. And there you go. The tire's off. Now, like I say, I just put a little grease so it slips on. Take my other end of this.
these bottles over here. What the hell?
outside. So this part here will be on the outside of the vehicle. So I'll face it this way. Okay. Take the valve out so that we get full pressure from the, the compressor. Right. Yeah, it's gonna pop right here. There we go. Put the right amount, get good mileage on the tires, very good mileage on the tires. Once you put what it's specified for. So here we go, we check again. And now we have 55. So what we're gonna do is gonna let out some of it. Let out a few of it. So we have about 50. And that's about 50 right there. Alright, here we go process with this one. Gotta put it on right here. Watch your tire. Make sure it comes out perfect. Alright, and we're gonna take it off. Screw this in. Yeah, good. Now, before putting any more air in it, just make sure so that we know how far we are. Okay, that's about 37, 8, about there. Let's go. I'm gonna go right up to about 50 PSI and we should be good. Um, check it. Perfect, right there at the 50 mark. All right, so let's put these on. Roll these out and let's put these on the car. Take a car home. That's right. Back in. Some of the things break off this way. There you go. Studs up with the tire rim. There we go. We want to make sure these kind of hand tighten before we put the tool on it. We want to make sure you, you don't cross thread them. So if you cross thread them, you're gonna have a big problem. All right. And once that's going on kind of fluently, you you know the threads are on good. These are four lugs size 16 low profile they call them 195 45 are uh, 16 it's the radius and this, this is how we get it done in, in mangrove key and just in the bahamas this is how we get it done
tires. Ahora mi paso, Toyota. Paso. That's how we change it. We're gonna take it for a test drive. So that is all fine. Maybe in a maybe in another future when we get a chance we'll show you how we change those. These are a bit bigger. These are size 22, yeah, 22 inch. 22 inch rims and once once you get to that time we're gonna show you how to easy, easy process. Once you know what you're doing. Alright, 